Oh god, this isn't even the destination. We're going off this way. Alright. Is that a Raihan? Is that just a flower that I've just been dodging? Dude, Raihan, nice. Turn around. Thank you. Oh, no, it turned back. Yes? Should really craft some heavy balls. Oh, I've got it. Nice. Take it. Uh oh. Don't know who can see me. Just gonna keep running. This is working lovely. What the hell's oh shiny thing that I have to collect? Yes, I'll grab that. Oh, there's Murkrows up there. At the moment, I'm feeling a little bit exposed, so I'm just gonna keep on moving as best I can. Lovely. 19 wisps remaining in this area. Wow, really. That has Pokemon. Bye, running away now. Leave me alone, Carnivine. Oh my God! Look at that licky licky, Jesus. Father, okay. Well, no, this is not the way. Go away! Go away! Huh. Oh my god, it suddenly got foggy up in here. I'll just leave it. Where the hell am I? Sky Tumblestone. Guessing it's to make those uh, feather balls actually. Thinking about it. Run away! I didn't catch a ghastly yet, did I? Uh oh. Oh, 
Oh, Licky Tongue. Not caught one of them either, but where'd the Ghastly go? What? Ain't nothing happened. Don't know what you're on about. Oh, hello, Licky Licky. Big boy. Right, where on earth am I going? I'm going over that way. Okay. But I have to go up there. And that's the bit I don't understand. Thank you. Nice, got a Vazelia. Cool. I need to uh, fill in that Pokedex page, don't I? Remember Monium game blog? Oh god, yeah, I forgot to do anything with that. My bad. Hey, thanks for the hydrate, Fabrizzi. I will redeem that. Uh, well, not redeem it. I will com complete that in a second when I'm not running for my life from all these Pokemon. Oh, I think I found the way I was supposed to go originally. Whoops! Hi! That took me a... Awkward amount of time, right? Now let's have this hydrate. So, you've come. Oh, damn. Well, have you got to change your pants, my dude? I take it that means you're ready. Sure. Lady Lilligant's a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Early Turk was one of my poultices to get a Rizu's leg all patched up. I have no idea what a poultice is. Caliber, ma'am, I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Rizu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and cause some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen! <laughs> the Lady of the Ridge Lilligant is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. Yeah, that's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. Oh, I could just do what I did last time and just throw infinitely many of those um, food balls at her. That works as well. Oh, I didn't see that previous message, Megan. Did Steve ever touch base with you about your level up? I think I think it got mentioned, honestly. But I think it was in stream chat, so like nothing got done about it. <laughs> well then, hello. On then, let's go. When you press the Y button to dodge, you become invulnerable to Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks without taking any damage. Oh, okay. Oh, God, okay. Hello. 
Oh no, time not long. No. That's not what oh god, there was a third one. Okay. Wow, okay. Send in a Pokemon and do battle. Nope. Actually, I think I might this time, yeah. Ah. Oh my god. Get Timing is awful. God damn it. No, I'm nearly dead. Okay, so there we go. Sending Pokemon to battle, I'm just gonna keep throwing these things out. Ow. Okay. This is a smart. That Lilligan is, is me telling you I need the info before the end. That Lilligan is me telling you I'm doing a stream. <laughs> like, come on, Meg. Oh, wow. Got it. And calm, Lilligan. Meadow plate from Lilligan. Just collecting all them plates. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save L Lilligan, you saved a razor as well. I appreciate it. First is Saluna and now Lilligan. You're amazing, you know that? I do. I do, thank you. Being our friends, it didn't suit Lilligan one bit. She's I'm so happy she's back to her graceful self. <coughs> Eraser, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written on the Salatian ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Sinnoh itself. I like the character designs. Yeah. I just like everything about this game, like visually, gameplay-wise, it's it's just really good. Really good. Of course, I had completely forgotten about them until a certain somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Erezu. You're a warden of all people. We should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Galabar wrapped all that up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arisu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except, me. <laughs> Except maybe to put in some training. If anything else happens to the Lilligan, I need you ready to protect her like the Warden you are. So don't change anything, except change this and change that and change this and change that. I understand. 
Let's work together from now on to keep the myelin safe, Eraser. I'll be sure to inform you reader that the, both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save Ursa Luna. You did well, Eraser. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Ebeza. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. Aye. What happened, Lilligant? How'd a kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all friends at her? Though it's not like I'm perfect, I hid things and lied co and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Liddy! Yeah, there you go. There's your answer. There's your intellectual conversation. Report to Commander Cat. Commando that you have accomplished your mission. Ugh. But that's such a long way to go. Wait, don't I have like fast travel or something? Thanks! <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Excuse me. Oh. You're a real wonder! I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We d still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon, but you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. Thank you, Pete. You might even change the entire code of history here in Hisui. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. So you're just using me to be on the right side of history. I see how it is. I see how it is. I see you've come for a Pokemon, dude. Care to report your findings? Yep. All new ones, I believe. Two grand for four Pokemon. Nice. Oh, okay. What's well, this? You crowd Lady Lilligan? Smashing. Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be one to report. Yep, there we go. That's why I came here, so that you would speed speed run me. Speed run. Fast travel me to uh, the village. Thank you, thank you. Oh, here's this fellow again whose voice I've forgotten from episode one. Founded by the center of my Maki, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful Maki when you come for dinner later. Wow, toot your own horn much. But first, don't you all come out of a report? Your meal can wait. I mean, yeah, literally, I didn't come here to speak to you. I came here to do this. You just, you just jumped out at me like a madman bragging about your Maki farts. So you successfully calmed Lilligant. It is. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy Team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A uh, stranger falls into our world from a uh, rift in space-time, then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift, it rift itself. To prove your motives are beyond impugning. So, even though I keep saving the world, you just suss of me. Okay, I see how it is. But I fix lights! <laughs> <laughs> there you go, piping up potato maki fresh from the stove. Now this is the life, eh? 
Enjoying tasty potato market with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving out a life here? Oh well. <laughs> Existential crisis then. Oh well. Here's a flashy new recipe to try, Basil. It's for an item. It should help scatter these gloomy thoughts. Scatterbangs? Okay. You want a fringe? Here's a recipe. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my girl. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. You mean I will? Like, you don't seem to be doing a whole lot to complete it, honestly. Honestly. The next day. Bit of a stretch before we begin. Morning, sleepyhead. No, thank you. Oh, right, okay, I get you. Never mind. You never guess what. I'm start gonna start working at the hairdresser's shop. Great, I'm so thrilled. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? The best. The absolute most exciting thing anyone's ever told me. Oh, I'm gonna be Lilligan's ward. I'm still gonna be Lilligan's warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work, don't you worry. Hmm. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, you guys. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. But like an actual murderous hairstyle, that'd be amazing. But I am pleased that you have found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Why do you care? Mr. M Mr. Commando, sir? Uh, uh, so, about that whole uh, Saluna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome to my Reizu. Brand you, Ebeza. You will come with me to the Prelude Beach. I don't want it. Looks like I don't get a say in the matter. But these people have just arrived here in history. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. But it is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. I mean, uh, none of these guys have been like, who are you, Mustache Man? Like, he's not even introduced himself. We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilee Village grow. But indeed, you have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Ibeza here, one of our survey corps recruits. Through the combined efforts of all of our team members, let us continue to develop the village and thrive here in the history region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. Do you though? Wouldn't you rather just have a lazy life? Like, you don't look forward to doing the work, you just know that you have to, to, to stay. <laughs> The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. This is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Blimeza, you truly do love Pokemon, don't you? Hey look, it's a Drifloon with a kid in the background. Thought it was only supposed to happen at night. Not really, wow, imagine. Hmm, <clears throat> Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy Team. And yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. But I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the survey car. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. So are you, mate. But it is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them. Whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Commander, a reader from the Pearl Clan survived. Good, but I believe I know what she's here about. But for you, Ibeza, you should see yourself, for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the survey car's efforts. Then you will come to my office. Ibeza. 
Right, hang on. There was... Oh, it's not here. No. Ghosty, Ghosty's gone. Good damn it. It was just her. Rats. Rats and darn it. If you'll pardon my language. <laughs> anyway. I was planning on finishing early, but we've gone like an extra over half an hour. But we are going to end it here uh, at this point. So uh, thank you everyone for hanging out, for tuning in, and what not.